What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123, and in this video, I'm gonna be bringing you my full review of this, the Sony Xperia S. Now, this is Sony's first attempt at making their phone without the Ericsson branding, and I've gotta say, the actual design, the aesthetics, and also the screen, they have really done a fantastic job, along with the actual software as well that they've put on top of Android to add to some of the applications. So overall, been really, really impressed with this kind of first phone from the Sony brand. Now let's just run through some of the specifications. This thing's got an LED backlit display, and that's a 720p display at 4.3 inches. And actually, for me, the screen is the highlight of the phone. I don't know if it's because it's LED backlit or just because Sony are fantastic at making screens, but the screen on this is actually an awesome screen. It really is an absolutely fantastic screen. The colors are very vibrant, the clarity is fantastic, and it just really does stand out as kind of one of the best things about the Sony Xperia S. Now, more specifications. This has got a dual core processor, a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. It's got one gigabyte of onboard RAM, and it's also got 32 gigabytes of storage. So some very good specifications in today's smartphone market. It comes by standard with Android 2.3, which is a bit of a shame. They really should have bought it out with Ice Cream Sandwich, but on the website it does tell you that it's gonna be coming within the next few months. So when this does get Ice Cream Sandwich, I think that's gonna be a big improvement as well. And it really is a shame that they didn't put that on this phone when it was actually first released. Now, one of the fantastic things about this phone as well is the back camera. The back camera on this is actually a 12 megapixel camera, and that's capable of recording 1080p at a full 30 frames per second, which is absolutely fantastic. It's also got a 720p 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera as well, which works reasonably well. Now the rear facing camera, I have done some video tests with this rear facing camera and also some photo tests and I'll put some photos and some video footage up on the screen now just for you guys to see. But the actual clarity and the definition and the detail that this 12 megapixel camera pulls out really is probably up there with being one of the best smartphone cameras that's out there and probably comes the closest to the iPhone 4S camera that I've seen from any smartphone. So very, very impressed with that. Now another thing that Sony have done with this, they've kind of actually started to use the NFC technology that's in the phone. Now for those of you that don't know, NFC stands for Near Field Communications, and basically what that means is that when you come into contact with certain devices or certain pieces of electronics, it will actually detect that, and in the future hopefully we'll be able to make payments on that when that kind of service comes over to the UK but that's not here at the moment. So Sony have actually taken it upon themselves to use it in a slightly different way. And I think this is a really intuitive thing that Sony have done. So basically what they do is they've actually included these tags with the phone itself. And these tags can actually have certain profiles attached to them. Now by profiles, what I mean is that you can basically kick off any number of actions just by placing the phone near one of these tokens. So for example, the white one here, this one could be your office token. So when you hover the phone over this particular token, it might start up your calendar, turn on the Wi-Fi, turn off Bluetooth or something like that. Now this blue one, for example, could be your car token, which means that when you get in the car, you just simply touch the phone to the actual token and that will start off maybe Bluetooth, uh, disable Wi-Fi, and maybe even start off your navigation system or something like that. And I think these tags are a really, really intuitive thing that Sony have done, and I wish more manufacturers would actually take it upon themselves to kind of use near-field communication a little bit more than they do at the moment, instead of just hanging around and waiting for the payment system to come along. Now, I'll just show you a quick demo of that. So, we've got the white token, and we've also got the blue token. Now, if I actually hover over the blue token, you'll see instantly it comes up there and turns on the Bluetooth application and also starts the car navigation like I said earlier and that just comes straight up there on the screen. Now, 
I get to the office, for example, and I want to get into my calendar and also enable Wi-Fi, I simply hover over the white token and straight away that's going to turn off Bluetooth and also bring up my calendar and turn on Wi-Fi. Now the way that you actually configure this is you simply go into the widget that Sony have put onto the phone and within the widget itself you can actually define your tokens and you can add and remove pretty much any action that you want to those specific tokens. So again, I really do like this idea that Sony have brought in and I think that actually I would probably use it quite a lot if I was to continue using this phone. Now, let's just take a little bit of a tour around the hardware and take a look at that. Now in terms of build quality, Sony really have made this phone look very, very attractive and it does feel nice in the hand. It feels like it's been made out of decent materials. One thing that you can't do with this is you cannot change the battery. It's completely installed on the phone, so that's not user replaceable in any way whatsoever. You could look at that as a positive or a negative, but either way, that's the way it is. Now here on the left hand side, we've actually got the micro USB port and that's covered by a kind of small little flap and the flaps actually work reasonably well. They stay flush to the unit and they're not too fiddly to use either. On the other side, we've got a mini HDMI port along with the volume rocker and also a quick shortcut button to the camera. And the quick shortcut button to the camera, if you press that even from standby, it actually brings the camera up in a very, very fast time. So I really like that idea as well from Sony. Now on top we've got the standby button along with the 3.5mm headphone jack and then on the bottom we've got a lanyard adapter and we've also got the microphone as well. One thing I do really like about the styling of the Xperia S is the little glass panel that it's got along the bottom of the screen. Now this isn't actually the touch panel, the buttons are slightly above that with the silver dots on, but you can actually change the glow of the colour uh, on this actual glass panel and I think it makes it look really nice and it's completely see-through as well. So again, a nice little touch there from Sony. Now, in terms of the price point, you can actually pick this up without a contract for about £400, which is actually less than most of the smartphones that you can get at the moment, most of the high-end smartphones, and actually comes somewhere in the region of something like a Nokia Lumia 800, and I think if you compare the two, I would probably prefer this over the Nokia Lumia 800. Things like the Nexus are a little bit more expensive than this, the HTC One X is more expensive than this, the iPhone is more expensive than this with the same amount of storage. So Sony have hit a good price point as well with the phone. Anyway, my overall opinion, I think for the price point and the styling as well and the design and actually the screen and these little NFC tags, I would definitely, definitely recommend this phone. I've really, really enjoyed using it and I actually love these smart tags. I really do, like I say, wish that other vendors would kind of take that on board and do something with them. Anyway, guys. That was my full review of the Sony Xperia S. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.